Hi, welcome to this part. We will look at Amazon Neptune. This is a graph database with highly connected data sets. It has some very significant use cases. But before that, welcome to this part three of this SAAC03 preparation. We are looking at some of the new features. Please remember all of my previous playlist on AWS SAAC02 is still valid. You can refer those questions because the old topics have not changed. They have just added some new features. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Subscriptions matter a lot for YouTubers. Now, one of the significant use cases of Amazon Neptune is recommendation engine. This is a very important topic for clearing the certification C03. Please emphasize on this. You know, this topic was very important for data analytics, but now they have also added for solution architect associate. So you need to know the basics. You remember you go to amazon.com you shop and then when you uh, are almost done and about to pay after that a uh, pop-up comes here you know what people who bought a brush they also bought a toothpaste and so on those are recommendations which are coming from the recommendation engines that is what is based on neptune so neptune can be plugged in between you can use s3 for your data feeds your data can come and reside in s3 neptune will just you know hold that data in a graph format with billions of relationships always remember it is all about relationships why this database is different it is because of the relationships you know there are so many objects and entities which are linked with one and another and that is something which is difficult to store in a rdbms database and fire sql queries sql queries so what happens here is i would suggest that this is the godfather of all databases when it comes to performance so does sql works it doesn't work with this type of database spar sql sparkql this works or gremlin that that is a separate language for that that works with this database so relatively it is difficult to learn compared to sequels so coming back to this diagram you know neptune it has you can write fast graph queries and clients can access this content very fast for example you go on amazon and people it will uh, amazon will directly tell you if you bought this other people have also bought some of the other products how does it do it it does it very fast it does it using this Neptune database, which is a graph database. It saves billions of relationships. So that is one of the key thing of Amazon Neptune. Whenever you have a question in the certification exam, which is talking about relationships, relationships, it is always Neptune. Mind you, you will get this question in the exam. So with Neptune, you can you know run popular graph query languages like I showed you, Sparse QL and Gremlin, and you can execute powerful queries. Remember, one of the key thing is it gives you millisecond latency so if you see netflix netflix is all about millisecond latency but this neptune is not a use case for netflix never nobody uses it for netflix it can use for netflix only if you want to give a recommendation engine so when you watch netflix and you have supposed you are watching a murder mystery so netflix would give you same recommendations it will give you some more murder mystery types ott series then how is that done that is done using databases like Neptune, which give you recommendation engines to provide recommendations. Another use case is fraud detection, because whenever we are talking about relationships, it, always remember it is very useful for fraud detection. It will try to understand why or if a particular event triggered some type of fraud. And this is possible only if you are storing all those relationships between the events and objects. So like I told, remember, remember, this is not a SQL database. It is different to a SQL databases. If you had a SQL database like these three, and if you have to maintain relationships, firing queries will not be performance efficient. Another use case is drug discovery. Very important. Suppose some research is going on. For example, Pfizer, if they are doing a research on creating some medicines to help with the elevation of some of the heart ailments or some cancer elements relationships are useful it can help you discover a drug by showing if this relationship is true what happens so drug discovery is a very important element where or a use case where neptune is very fruitful and last but not the least network security whenever we are talking about security always remember network security is always vulnerable to attacks okay and if people are able to derive the events what event has triggered what type of compromise with the security that kind of requirement can only be done by graph databases or something like neptune now remember neptune is a fully managed service that means 
all provisioning patching backup recovery failure detection and repair everything is managed by neptune you just have to pay pay as you go so this is very important from a certification standpoint that uh, it is fully managed you don't have to manage most of the things second is use cases like the previous use cases the four types of use cases i have shown it is very important for solution architect c03 because that question will not go very deep it will give you scenarios around use cases and you will have to figure out is this a use case to plug neptune or not now what query language we use with neptune apache tinkerpop gremlin graph travels a language this is one of the languages so gremlin is meant for curing the graph databases another language is spark ql so this is also used for curing the graph databases so always remember if you have some existing graph databases in your environment you can migrate them to neptune and how to do that using endpoints so you may be asked a scenario around this in solution architect associate c03 as well as as well as as well as data analytics as well as solution architect professional these this topic is important for all these certifications now remember asset compliance whenever we talk about a database asset compliance is important so what is asset compliance atomicity consistency isolation and durability so this database neptune is compliant asset compliant with immediate consistency that means that it does not take 3 seconds or 5 seconds to reflect the latest data you fire it now it is immediately consistent so what about security just like other databases or other features in transit at rest kms integration and security groups these four are very important for neptune as well you would be quizzed you would be quizzed on saac03 exam about in transit at rest kms integration and security groups so please remember these are all possible in neptune does neptune support sla yes my friend any managed service in aws world has associated sla so this is sla now this topic is not as important for saac03 as it is important for data analytics and solution architect professional so let us understand index creation do you need to create index no neptune takes care of it automatically let's try to understand read replicas you know always in the certification exams we are quizzed if you have a master database and if you have a read replica if you have a reports which are firing and making the read slow what would you do we would switch to read replica this is a very common question you it may be asked even for neptune also how many read replicas it can support up to 15 whenever you think about neptune remember low latency high throughput high throughput low latency like i told this is the godfather of all databases because it is truly highly performance efficient and it can store billions of relationships can you tune your uh, queries not sql queries but spark ql queries yes you can there is a built in optimizer which automatically tunes it, it okay so this is very important to note neptune is not a relational databases if you have been given a use case in your certification exam which is talking about something which sounds relational do not choose neptune use neptune only if it is talking about recommendation or recommender systems or if it is talking of relationships billions of relationships and so on then use this it is based on graph database technology graph database technology is all about relationships storing relationships now let us understand how backups work here you don't have to do any thing here automated backups are always enabled if it is asked in the certification always remember you don't have to do anything it is always enabled hey but what about snapshots you have to take snapshots manually but when you are taking a snapshot it has zero impact on your production database so even if your production database is on and people are using it do not worry my friend do not worry take the snapshot but snapshots you can know, you, you can share across regions but only up to 20 accounts okay you cannot be sharing with all tom dick and harry now let us understand recovery if a disaster strikes how you can recover your database See, it is always maintaining six copies of your data across three availability zones. It will automatically attempt to recover your database in a healthy AZ with no data loss. You, you see, it is so cool. It is so cool. But I'm telling you, it comes at the price of Mercedes Benz. Man, it is hell expensive. So, if a disaster happens, it can transparently handle loss of up to two copies of data without affecting the right availability of the database. 
or three copies so you see even if a disaster strikes this database can handle it it has self -heal healing systems that means the storage is self healing the data blocks and disk are continuously scanned for errors and repaired automatically so this itself remember you will be asked in the certification about this self healing system it is inbuilt feature of neptune see cross region replicas are not supported but snapshots you can take the snapshot to another region it is supported but, but cross region replicas are not supported all neptune databases have to be created in vpcs you cannot encrypt an unencrypted database that support is not on this brings us to the end of part three we looked at neptune please hit the subscribe and the like button see you in the next part